Yo, Q Q, Venom, the girl them have a new dance. When he am one drop, yo Yo, Stash man. No wrong if you drop it from me now mm. But me a want you, you beat a me up mm. Country girl, me say make your bad so, But me a beg you please girl, come and drop it right yourself mm. Boom pop, pop in the ear, yeah Say it's like you watch your ear, yeah Do the one drop, yeah so you look here What you tell them no so muscle with the drop in the square, yeah This is Marion, and you've reached a special artist segment. Our special artist today is Mr. QQ himself, Mr. One Drop. He's here, in here before and after, in the Bronx, getting his hair cut. After he's done with his hair cut, I'll ask him all the questions that you guys wanted me to ask him. Just keep it locked, okay? <laughs> Welcome back. We're still here at bef here before and after in the Bronx with our special get guest, um, QQ, Mr. One Drop himself. Him ear cut finish now. You see him look Mr. like Mr. Suave. <laughs> Looking like I look a young boy again, you know what I mean? I still ask him the questions then. I get ready for asking him the questions then right now. When we'll we'll I have set up for him. So, Q Mr. QQ, welcome to Dance All Connections. You have the entire Europe, Jamaica, America, you know, just going crazy. Tell me what inspired that, that one drop tune. I mean, really and truly, the track was seeing some girls at a party dancing, you know, them do the dance, and me see them, and I say, yo, I like that vibe there, you know, I like the energy, you know, and I was like, yo, what's the name of that dance, and a girl said to me, I want to drop it name, I'm saying, all right, then no problem, you know, probably a week after me here, the Idonia, see, don't run it, see, don't run it, and I said, that really, I'm bad, how much can I get that ready here, you know, we try to scout it, Stephen was in the country at the time, so what we did is, by March was my birthday. I heard the rhythm in December. And by March it was my birthday and I was like, you know what? I ain't sitting down and waiting. So guess what? I linked Stashment and I said, Stashment, I need a rhythm from you. You know, she give me she said, Go to the studio and tell them exactly what we want. Tell them what we want them. Hit the rhythm. Voice the same day. Everything was done the same day. So the inspiration was really just seeing the girls them are dropping. <laughs> because really and truly them pull it up like five times in a party now. Them can't play it just one time, you know that? Mad man. Well, that's 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 hard work, you know. We put out the hard work and we we do it, you know, to the best of our ability. So to hear that that's what's happening, we we're very grateful. Give thanks to the fans and everybody. We do that. Okay. You know I mean? Thank you. Now there's an artist, right, that is saying that you copied his style, yeah. you know. And honestly, we know you're from the Stuki and the Room Ram days. Yeah. You know, you are always on the cutting edge of dancehall songs. You're always unique. So what's your take on this artist? What's his name? DJ Kang Ganguli. What is, what is your take on that? Well, I mean, I'm um, hearing it, I just laugh. I think his name is Gangoli. Um, before, two years ago, his name was Hitless. Before, two years before that, he had another name, you know. So many names. Finally, he find one that working for him. But him say a thief, him style. Well, I never know that one drop was a man down. So if he's doing it, then kudos to him. <laughs> you know, easy, you know, you know, easy. <laughs> really and truly, I don't want to know about that the one drop. Honestly, may I tell you? Why? I never even try attempt to do that dance. I just love seeing it, you know. I love seeing the woman them doing it. But that's all I know. Me just know say a woman them me see I do it and one drop is a dance that I know say girls do and girls enjoy doing it. You know what I mean? So I don't know about any man who say I teeth him style or try to take him style or whatever, you know what I mean? Thank you. Many young you know, not too many young artists um, manage to stay current. Um, you know, from being a child start till now to a grown man. You, you, you know, you, you took a break to concentrate upon school and you come back upon the scene. You understand me? What's your secret for staying current? Everybody talking about the one drop dance. What's your secret for staying current in the dance hall right now? Well, I mean, dance hall is a very tough industry. You know what I mean? Um, and you, you have to just be persistent and confident within yourself. And I think the problem is with a lot of the other artists who started out young, 
the issue is that sometimes when you're in this music industry you're going to hear people say a lot of things and you have to know how to surpass certain things and don't make things get to you because even me as an individual if I was not a strong individual, I would have probably stopped because you hear people say I'm gay, you hear them say I suck this, you hear them say all type of things about me. But at the end of the day, nobody knows what I know. You know what I mean? And I know about myself. So anything that people want to say don't really matter to me. I ain't, I ain't a need for answer to nobody. I don't need for answer to nobody. I got me need for answer to me. I am no, I'm straight. You know what I mean? <laughs> straight up. How did you feel about performing at Reggae Sum Fest this year with all these other big artists? You know, coming up from a child star till now you're what, 20, 19? Yeah, I mean, it's a great pleasure, you know what I mean? Um, th this year was my fourth time doing Reggae Sum Fest. You know, five, Chuck Fender called me up. 2006, Missy Elliott called me up uh, in 2009. I did the first the first appearance by myself and this year again I was back on it. It really just shows that we're working hard and what we need to be on, we're on them. You know what I mean? We're back on the scene, back on the shows that we need to be on because this show goes worldwide. You know what people look at this show and say, whosoever do good on this show, we want to pick them up. So at the end of the day, the fact that we could go to the show and dominate it is with great pleasure and we're very happy that the people have received us. They receive me very well, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you too, you know, such a young artist coming up, you understand? Actually, you're there already. You know, you know it's not like you yeah, come up or anything, you already reach it. The, the thing. And the funniest thing about it, the other day, me and my daughter, I hear your song in the backyard, I want to cook out a play. And my daughter said, Mommy, you, know, you don't know that song? And I said, You don't know who sing that song? I said, No, who? And she said, You remember the song? Stucky, what you know? I'm like, No, and I had to really go and look on YouTube and I nearly fainted. I didn't know it was you. I mean, yeah, the maturity has been crazy, you know what I mean? I grow facial hairs now. You see, I have to come in and <laughs> me, me, me have to take a break and get my, my, my cut before I come by the camera because I can't come looking like a tramp, you know. No, I don't, I don't work with that. I don't, if I go into an airport and somebody stop me for an interview, if I don't look properly, I can't do it, you know. It's just not right, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, it, 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 it's, it's, it's a great pleasure to know that from Stokey to here, and I'm still relevant, you know what I mean? Being here in New York, we did Hot 97 and Reggae Tip, we did um, Webster Hall for five alarm blaze and we did bb kings and the respond and the love has been crazy when people hear stucky come on people go bananas you know what i mean and people are saying if it's little kid and you don't know we have the wine for sure then, man. <laughs> correct um what did what role did your parents play in in maintaining that you you remain current and stuff what role did your parents play well i mean as everybody know you know from starting out in music my dad has been my manager and he has always been there you know still is there you know what i mean and him keep me grounded a lot you know what i mean sometimes him find help me find by myself because you know in an industry like this yeah you're, you're, you're easy to get caught up you know what i mean I, up to this day i still don't smoke you know what i mean a lot of people would think i smoke and sometimes my man come and say yo me have something for you and i say what are you say see a fifth i got married i said no nah, you know i don't smoke <laughs> I said, for real? Oh, you all them meds eh? So at the end of the day, they help keep me grounded and keep me firm, you know what I mean? Um, my mom too, she's been there, you know, she hasn't really played 100% in my life. But you know what I mean? She's there, me love her, seeing me, love both of them, you know. But my parents play a vital role, you know. And there's other people out there who play crazy roles in my life, you know, and help keep me firm and grounded too. That's a good thing, that's a good thing. Now, you did a video with the famous Rosie. <laughs> What you call it, the Totti Grand Rose, the Totti Grand Wine. I had a chance to, to, to view the video before coming to the interview and, and I'm like, okay, I, I gotta ask him about that. What what inspired you to incorporate Rosie into the whole thing? Well, I mean, you know, after seeing the, the, the thing she did on the news, you know, um, it, it brought something to me, you know. Sometimes you see some people and even me as a youth, you know, my pops grew up in the street and me adapt certain things to me, man. We can we can read the streets and we can understand the street. More time you see a person and a person might not be in the best position. But because I'm having clean clothes that, you know, sometimes you can feel how people and you read it and even watching the news you realize, you know, she have our things and you know we, we realize that there's an anger in her and sometimes the anger can be stress you know what i mean even our players flood out and she probably you know works so hard in her life to get her things them and know that she just come flood out and mash up so i just say how is it i can incorporate in some way you know what she has said a 30 grand and a 30 grand and a ray ray and this and I'm saying, you know, a 30 grand wine. And the reason I came with 30 grand, people did not say, why? I never said, just this one I read. I said, no, 30 grand wine. Because it have a money thing about it. And what do people know when they hear it? A money we are talking about. Yeah. It have to get all of that. Yeah. So we just say, all right, 30 grand wine. And we call her in. I'm going to say, yo, more of you. 
do her thing for me, you know. I say how much she charge me, you know. I make sure me give her money, and she come in and she do her thing. And I say yeah, me like what she do. Thirty grand wine, airplane, and she make her right now. Crazy. Man, right? The video me I go do next. Oh Lord, I can't wait to see that. I definitely can't wait to see that, and I'm sure the people can't wait to see that either. No, what another thing is, I wanted to know: Are you planning on doing any future collabs? with any other artists because you know a lot of Jamaicans a lot of international artists right now are pulling Jamaica pulling for Jamaican artists like you know Assassin Vibes Cartel Busy Signal they're all doing collabs what about you um well I mean definitely it's in it's in the pipeline you know what I mean Missy Elliott and I are very good friends she was in Jamaica the other day for her birthday she said Q hit me up come by she was like when are you coming to New York when are you coming Mr. Soon man she said anytime you come up I want us to go to the club I want us to hit up so you know I'm gonna come up and meet her up and stuff and she said all right then she gotta see me before I leave and we are gonna chill so Missy is one of my close friends that me know anytime already you know what I mean um lately I've been doing a lot of collabs you know one job me did feature one of my bridging I give him four lines in it you know what I mean it was hard to get him on the track but me pull through for him um Radija is on a new track catch on the edge you know what I mean but I think no I'm gonna probably just focus on singles with myself because man art is sometimes too ungrateful man I can't deal with the problem any crossovers at all I mean I know you're you're for the dancing and all of that I mean are you planning on going over to any love songs anytime soon or something on the slower edge where people can probably rock to and all I made still well, I mean, I have a lot of reggae songs, I have a lot of slow jam, I have a lot of R&B songs too, you know what I mean? But sometimes people, you know, they, they're looking for that, they're looking for the whining thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. them are going to do everything and search QQ new whining song on YouTube. <laughs> but if you go and type QQ reggae song or QQ love song, you're still going to find music, you know what I mean? But everybody's just, you know, it's, it's the frenzy and the vibe of the people them in a right now, they're in a whining vibe. And because they're there, me I give them what they But so much thing, you know what I mean? Damien and the Barber case one, you know what I mean? I have a track for him, you know, Falling For You. That's a nice love song, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a track for ZJ, it's called Sorry Words. So. I got so much stuff out. Oh, reggae, slow, nice, you can pull a vibe and yeah, chill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your image now, because I read in a newspaper article that, you know, a lot of your fans didn't recognize you when you came back out on the scene. How did you deal with that? Because, you know, even now, I'm looking I'm looking at you and I'm like, huh? You know, where, where, where did that, you know? Yeah, I mean, when I did younger, the cute and girls used to go crazy for me. Now me get grown and ugly and stuff, but here we are, work with it. But um, I think my image, though, really, the thing is with my image is, um, you know, as a youth, you know, you're not on facial hairs, you know, you, you, your body not fully developed as yet. You know, I think now I'm probably kind of developed and, you know, when I came back on the scene, people is like, oh my God, I can't believe that is him. You know what I mean? The facial layers and sometimes I like to go out with my facial layers and knee them up because I want people to start get used to me and start accept me as that grown person. But do you still get carded? You get carded? In, you're in New York now and you know everything needs ID, buying liquor, stuff like that. I mean, I, have you ever been carded? Um, I mean, I went to somewhere the other day and a man was like, oh, let me see your ID. <laughs> And I was like, I was like, man, I'm not even from here. So he was like, oh, 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 sorry, man. I'm so sorry. I just realized who, who it is. I mean, I said, no, man, everything good, man. You know, but because a lot of them expect the Jamaican artists to be mad and jump down and hey, boy. Hey, hey, but I mean, bro. In terms of appearances, you're in New York now. What do you have up and coming anytime soon? Wow, I did so much things. I think I'm probably on the last note tonight. Uh, um, I'm doing dazzles, you know what I mean? But I did so much. I did Hot 97 on the reggae tip, uh, BB Kings, uh, Five Alarm Blaze, Webster Hall. Uh, I did So Bless, I think, Sunday. Um, Plenty's Paradise in Brooklyn. So I'm just doing that one last one in dazzles, you know what I mean? And then I'm out there. I know your fans would want to know where you're at right now as far as girlfriend goes. What, what is your, what is your, 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 your female, you know, who is a special female? Everybody wants to know that. Yeah, everybody wants to know. Everybody wants to know, including my daughter. She said I should ask you. So I want... <laughs> I leave that one. Oh, come on. He's going to plead the fifth on me. He's going to plead the fifth. Uh, um, yeah, I definitely got a girlfriend, of course, man, over here in New York, too. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, big up my girlfriend over here in New York. Big her up on the ear that him have a woman. Anyways, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you, QQ, Mr. One Drop. You're going to see him. I'm um, hopefully hoping that we're gonna see you still you know even though you go, you stop to go to school and you're back in the music i hope you don't disappear on us you're, you're not no other one it wonder again for the future definitely won't but um just before we leave um yeah you're not gonna do one job let me see jesus lord let me try come 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 see the one job 
myself, QQ. Thank you for that. Marion here from Dancehall Connections. Thank you for tuning in. See ya.